Yes, look who is here. <laughs> Emptying my Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think I didn't know you were storing that. I just, it was recyclable. How long have you had this car for? Um, a month? A month? Is that it? It feels like you've had it for a ages. Month. Okay, a month. Anyway, Sam's had this car for a month and it's taken us all 30 days to realize that we both have little yellow cars. So we thought, wouldn't it be great to jump in these two and compare what they're like, considering that this one's yellow and that one's yellow. <laughs> that's the comparison <laughs> we're gonna make. <laughs> and, and that's about it. But no, really, these are both daily drivers. Um, <laughs> although when I say that, Sam seems to laugh. I've just had a quick look in this and I know now why you're like, yeah. no, 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 this isn't really a daily driver. What is this for? If it isn't a daily driver, <laughs> who buys it and, and why? Racing drivers. <laughs> Baby racing drivers. Let me just show you this quickly. So it doesn't even have, it's just about got somewhere to put a piece of paper here. About the car. Well, about the car. <laughs> yeah. when I'm filming. <laughs> yeah, these stats. Stat, stat sheet. Um, and it has an amazing uh, sort of roll cage for bags. What do you call that? Um, uh, <laughs> the way to get robbed really quickly. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, so nowhere to hide bags, but nowhere plenty, plenty of um, lockdown. Yeah, so your bags don't go oh, yeah, flying yeah. through the window and it weighs how much? Do you, uh, do you refer to the spec sheet? 185 kilos. Wow. So it's less than a ton and it's how many horsepower? That could have been the 4C actually, I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, it's Both 100, small Italian cars. 180, 190 horsepower. 190 horsepower. 190 horsepower. 190 horsepower. And just under a ton. Yeah. So uh, yeah, well, counter to that, this is actually a small tank. I think these are about like 1500. Wow. Well, it's, I know it's a bit, Deceptive because it's a small car, but it's got what, more doors than me. It's so not that, that adds weight, bad, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. But they actually had to redesign the whole rear half of the A1 to fit the Quattro system in the mm. S1. So it does have like an extra diff okay. with it being four-wheel drive, and it's packed full of like there's this really novel thing called a radio. It's got it's got that in there. Don't which, need a radio when you're driving like have. a racing car. Well, to be fair, when when you came in, it did sound really it's good. Sounded. Anyway, without further ado, let's hop in this little pocket rocket. Let's see what it's all about. Um, you don't have a handle to close the door either. You pull this oh, amazing this, uh, racing handle. Lightweight. I'm nervous one day that it's just going to go. Yeah, I'm going to be like. The so last time we were in a car together, didn't start. That's a good point. I remember that? Maybe start this one just to, just to check first. Nice. No drama. No drama. Okay, cool. Well, first of all. Proper seats. Now, one of my criticisms with the S1 is the driving position, and this has the sports seats in it. Oh. Um, is crap. Okay. <laughs> the driving position. Amazing. Well, I feel like it's someone's put. It doesn't feel like a seat. It feels like a chair. Okay. Well, it feels like someone's put a chair. Have you driven a 500 car. before? Not yet. What do you think right now? Because a lot of people hate the driving position here because it's very well upright. The thing is, the I don't. Do these move. Other side. Do they, they like yeah, yeah. articulate? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh man! But it's more like, that you're quite high. This up. is luxurious compared to the GT3, though, because the, the GT3 doesn't do that. It's fixed oh. buckets, and they are quite upright. That's 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 the done the, the, the global Done. sign for fixed GT3 bucket seats. Fixed bucket so, yeah. seats. <laughs> We're going to a dealer. Yeah. Would you like these seats? I, mean, I would like these yeah. ones. <laughs> so yeah. So so far, I'm feeling quite at home because it's an upright. Mode is interesting. So does it change quite a lot when you press yes. the button? Yes, Press I mean, mode it changes. The, oh, the it riders are really quite stiff. Quite stiff. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> the riders are really quite stiff. Sport mode is going to You just hunger wow. down even more. But it, yeah, you get a lot. There. It, it is stiff. More. And I assume it's fixed rates then. There's no like soft button. No, there's, no, there's no soft button, but the, all the dampers are adjustable. So you can actually lower the ride height <laughs> to make it stiffer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're Has not it got, I mean, does it have, a, with its lightweight ethos, does it have plastic windows or anything like that? Like, no. Is the back window plastic? No, one thing which I would have loved, which you can yeah. get on the standard Viposta if you go and order it today, yeah. is yeah, racing oh, slot windows. Yes, but yes. because this was the record edition, it was this. You couldn't change any options on the record edition. Hey, it's nifty. It goes. It doesn't hang it about. Goes, doesn't it? it doesn't hang about. It goes, for sure. But it's sort of hilarious at the same time. Like It's got that character that I love, because it's yeah. just stupid. <laughs> do you know what I mean? But do you know what? And I say this a lot, but for me, cars, it doesn't matter what bracket they're in, if they put a smile on your face, it's a success, yeah. right? Success! Well, I'm like, 
two minutes in this car and I'm got like cheek ache. Because I'm like, because I feel so funny and it. it's great. Oh, oh yeah, there is a bit of talk still. Yeah, yeah okay, sticking in small mode. Which is this simple button here. Like okay. a really Halford's 25 pound button. Oh, the dash has changed, the dash is lighting up. Oh, sounds nice. Yeah, yeah. some valves open, you get induction a noise, noise yeah. induction noise and turbo. If you're outside, it's just <laughs> like non stop. And, uh, and yeah, it's a it's lot a more lot responsive, fun. I find. <laughs> Slightly heavier steering, too. Yes, it has. Yeah, yeah it's got and a few steering weights. Hold on, hold on. Thing, Bumps. One thing I will say is that the steering wheel is at a funny angle. It's yes. Like, Tilted. It's like tilted forward. It's like it? a truck driver. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you drive a truck or a it's bus, got, it's yeah. What made you go for this? I mean. Okay, so yeah. Um. <laughs> uh. I. Uh, funny enough, I went on a test drive for the Abarth 124 Spider. Okay. And they had yeah, the yeah. brand new Series Four Abarth 595. Right. And they go in their typical Italian thing after yeah. lunch. I'm having some pasta. Yeah. You must drive the yeah. competizione. <laughs> And a lot of my viewers on my okay. channel will know that I slated the 3500, so I was like, oh, whatever, yeah. like, I'm not interested. Like, Come on, it's new, you love it. <laughs> so I thought, screw it, I've got some time to kill, I'll take it out. And I loved it. And you thought it was great? I loved it. It was yeah. the auto box, the interior was spot on, it was red, it was like a tan leather interior, and I was like, I never knew a bath were this like cool. Yeah. So it was playing in my mind, and then when I thought, okay, time to think about replacing the F-Type, why not get a daily to free up my options of getting sure. something mad? Yeah. Went in to talk about ordering a 595 journey. Okay. And as I walked in, this was in the dealership, and I literally, wow. and the idiot who went, how much is that? That one. <laughs> yeah. And literally walked out of the dealership having signed the paper. So I didn't even go that, look at anything that else. Yeah, that, that quick. Quick. I didn't test drive anything else, blah, 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 blah. Amazing. I literally walked in and bought this straight away. I mean, that says a lot about a car when it pulls the heartstrings that, that quick. Yeah. You just know. I you? just, you know, it, 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 it ticks a lot of my boxes. It's got Ferrari paint. Awesome. <laughs> That's yeah. the only box yeah, I have Ferrari paint. paint. <laughs> it's got carbon fiber everywhere. It is yeah. completely pointless. And it is the it's stupidest nuts. car that any human being ever It actually owned. is, yeah. But I love it, and it's got so much character. I, I, I come out of shops and I see it, and I'm like, And you smile. Ah! Yeah, when you see it, you smile. Oh, ah, it's awesome. so cool. Um, and so how yeah. many of these did they make? Of the record, 133. 133. It is definitely a marketing gimmick. I'm not. I'm not pretending for a second. But ultimately, though, they still made 133. Yeah. 133 in this yellow color, and you can go and buy the normal 695 Biposto today, yeah. Yeah. and you can get the mad gearbox. Oh yeah, you can get they have that like open linkage. Don't it's they? called the dog ring. Well, the dog, dog ring. It's yeah. dog ring gearbox, and it's the yeah. open linkage. Yeah, open linkage. Proper racing. It's, yeah, it's very like. Guardian spy, yeah. isn't it? You know? But I think around town would be a, sh a shit show. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't remember yeah. you your channel or not. Yeah. No, it's, um, so yeah, of this of this model 133, I have already seen three of them though. What? <laughs> you kidding me? That's possible. So maybe a bar that would dodge up my numbers is Ferrari. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. For me, I love having a little car. I love having a little so car. Good. Yeah. Parking, getting around, negotiating traffic. I mean, but it's like cinema, shopping, just going into town, like generally amazing. But that's exactly so it. So good. Yeah. And also, you see so many of baths on the road yeah. that it kind of blends in, even though this is bright yellow and makes a stupid noise. Well, yours is more fun than everyone person, else's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like to think so. <laughs> but the average person doesn't know. Like, the okay. average person's like, oh, it's one of those little 500 yeah. things. But and those that know. Hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> Some idiot brought that, what? <laughs> so right now then, with this currently being your only car, Yeah. Um, long journeys? Yeah. How, in, in, coming here, is this your first experience? Okay, so when's this video going out? Well, when do you want it going out? I don't know, but tomorrow, <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. I'm getting a radio fitted to this car. Which is essentially, it's not wow. a big secret, I've talked about it before, so yes. it doesn't really matter when your video goes out, but okay. what I'm saying is it's either being fitted already, <laughs> right. oh, <laughs> I see. Okay. Okay. or it's right. about to get fitted. Right. Okay. Um, so, so, that is essential, because on a long yeah. journey, yeah. It, you're like, Meh. When you say radio fit, you mean you're going to get one installed? So you can all go in here, you're going to strap the... a Bluetooth speaker to the roof. Basically. <laughs> yes! <laughs> essentially. It's going to be like an old school 90s boombox in the back. You should get, um, like, one of those eight tracks. Oh, you know, just so it looks a bit. Oh, a vinyl player up here. Vinyl on the dash. I think it'd be great. Did you know? Did you know? A bit of random trivia here. Vinyl sales. Outsold. Outsold downloads. digital downloads. Mega. What on Go earth? Go vinyl. I, I mean, yeah, right. Okay, so I knew I'm, you said so that. I'm, so I'm glad you're backing me up on that because everyone yeah. here be like, 
bollocks. Yeah, bollocks. Yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> only a same week thing. period, though, right? Correct. One week period. Yeah, one week period. Vinyl outsold digital downloads. But, he, but even Go still, vinyl. like, what? Go vinyl. Ridiculous. I mean, but so, so once music is sorted, yes. apart from that, it's doable. Like, it, it, it's definitely doable. hard. Like, you know, okay. like the drive here, it's, you know, it's the bumps on the motorway are just annoying. You go, yeah. But otherwise, and it's, it's, five, it's oh, five gears. Five gears. How is it in fifth when you're like razzing it at 70? Is it like. Is it, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 you know what's That's exactly what the salesman yeah. said. <laughs> And he said the same thing about petrol, which is a <laughs> oh, absolute yeah. was it like on petrol? disaster. Which is amazing considering it weighs like nothing. A- and the first time yeah. I got it and I filled it up, I was like, oh, thirty-five pounds to fill up. That's great. Thirty-five pounds. Thirty-five pounds to fill up, which means you get ten mile range. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not joking. I filled it up this morning to come to you. Can you see the? I mean, are we below half a tank? You're yet? just you've just dropped below half a tank. Yeah, I yeah. literally, and that was wow. like hundred and thirty miles, I think, from me to you. Um, it is wow. appalling on Holy petrol, atrocious on the and tube. worse on the motorway. You know, usually you go on the motorway and you you get better. Yeah, you're like on a run. Yeah, I'm driving a grow. But yeah. but but, but sure. it's worse on the motorway because I guess you're going over 50 miles an hour and it's just like. <laughs> <laughs> right now we're on a, a nice road. Okay, I'm gonna drop a car. We're in sport mode. Have it. Oh yes, yeah, so the torque steer. Yeah. When you, when you, you really don't stand around the roundabouts. It's really out of roundabouts. It's really quite scary, if I'm honest. If I'm yeah. up with all the weight at the front, there's no weight back there. Sure. So, so if you back. lift off oversteer into a corner, it might step out yeah. nicely. Absolutely. You so it. and it's so small that you just. Yeah. That is something else. It's so small. It's, it's so wicked. small. No back seats. Like everything's just going there. through that little town back there. And it's it's definitely smaller than the S1. It, yeah. Oh, so that would have been us. See that that that's ooh, a Fiat 500. That's a Fiat 500 in a Fiat. You didn't see that. That, yeah, that, that looked bad. Yeah. That, that looked fairly fresh as well. That there was really still fresh. smoke from the airbag. Yeah. He was okay though. He was, he was all right. I was up and walking around. As we were talking about lift off over. That's what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Probably uh, take it steady. God. I expected road noise to be louder. Actually. Oh, did you? Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. But it's, it's okay because it's stripped out. I mean, it is really. Like, it's, 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 it's stripped it's out. It's very limited sound. Though. So one yeah. thing you might find on your GoPro footage, which I, maybe, maybe not, it can sound quite tinny in here. It'll, it'll never be as bad as the LT. Okay. Like, <laughs> <laughs> the road noise on that is shocking. But I, I think, do you know what? You don't notice it, and this might be the case with this because I don't notice it when I'm driving, when I'm in it because you're experiencing the car and you're getting along with it. It's not until I look back over the footage that I'm like, oh, I was sitting in a vibrating socket. Yeah. And then I'm just, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And everyone's like, you gotta get a proper mic for that thing. It's killer, yeah. yeah. It's killer, yeah. It's always the way. I, mean, I, I, I want to know your take on the S1. I just can't wait to be comfortable. <laughs> That's all, I just literally can't wait. <laughs> oh. How's that feel? Oh. I feel very low down. Yeah, that's what, I, that's what yeah. you're saying. It's quite the the, yes, the pasta yeah. is quite. That's novel. Beats. This, right. this is amazing. So this has this like, if you turn this knob, you hear you hear that. Unnecessary. <laughs> Unnecessary taunting there. Six yeah. speed manual. Six speed manual. Quattro. Yellow. <laughs> right up your street. Yellow, <laughs> yellow stitching. Yellow. Yeah, like so, and in the back, you see, just left and right there. Um, I know where this is going. No, we can put passengers in, in the in the in the back because there's seats. You don't need passengers if you're a racing driver. <laughs> <laughs> can we go? So, yeah, f- far away. Immediate feeling is very different. In terms of. Um, what do you think? Okay, gearbox and gear lever. Yeah. Like a lot more clunky. Okay. So I don't know if you picked this up in there, but like it's quite yeah. a soft. Yeah, throw. it is. Yeah. You're like, am I in the gear? Yeah, yeah. Am I in yeah. gear? This has got a lot more feel to it, and it's, it's a bit further away as well. So sure. yeah. just, just getting used to all of that. One of the problems I had in the in the Abarth was it has five gears, so I kept put, like going to reverse. Going to reverse. <laughs> and it wasn't there. Yeah. No, that is quite worrying. <laughs> um, my immediate bit, this feels like a car. Okay. Was that feels like a go kart <laughs> with a roof? With a roof. Yeah. Um, th- this okay. feels like a car, so it feels a lot more planted. It feels bigger. So I would say it's not as much of a sense of occasion. No. no. Yeah. You, you know know lost mean? some of the sort of like. Yeah. 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 A little bit of that. Pepper on me. Like some of that is gone. Yeah. Hear that? I told you I'm getting a radio fitted. Okay. So. How is it on the pole front? Keeps going. 
going, doesn't keeps it? Keeps going, yeah. Keeps it. Uh, it doesn't feel quite as raw. No, it's not. Wow. As raw. Yeah, it's definitely not. It's got the Audi polish, hasn't it? Basically, right? Feels more planted. Yeah. Definitely feels no, really no, planted. Okay, cool. Uh, I mean, you can drop clutch in this in first in the damp. And it, it, it'll just have it. Like, it'll just go. There's no, like, slip. Unless you've got a I mean, yeah, yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> Unless you do the clutch like that. Unless <laughs> <laughs> I really fucked the entire situation. <laughs> what a douchebag! Oh, funny. Um, but actually, I mean, I actually find the clutch on this a bit weird, a bit hard to well, judge. It's just. It's just quite light. It's, there's not much it's feel. Very, it, there's no feel, I find. But also, because of the weird seating position in the Abarth where you're mm. up and I feel like you're stamping down on all the pedals. Yes. I've found this massively recently when I've been test driving stuff. Mm. All the cars that I've got into after the Abarth, yeah. I, like, I can't drive. Can't <laughs> like honestly, because it's such a weird, it like, unique thing. the weirdest thing. driving Especially with the experience. manuals. Yeah, it's, yeah. And you're so, as I say, stamping down stuff. You should have to take a while to get used to, to a normal car. Yeah. And I guess for you You're as well, okay. it must be awesome having a manual part of the fleet. Well, it's the only manual that I have access mm. to. It's the only manual I've got. And, okay, it's a good manual car. Sure. But it's not a, a manual driver's car, by any means. Yeah, right. that, that's... The, yeah. Regardless of it being an S, Quattro, whatever, it's just not a performance manual car. No, it's that's the thing. It, yeah. it feels almost like the S badge is a bit more marketing than it is on some of the other... I, I fully agree. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah absolutely. We're so yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think the best thing about it is the fact that it is four-wheel drive. Absolutely. So all that's year round, it. thrash yeah. it and have exactly. a smile on your face. Yeah, yeah. And I guess it's a bit more fun and chubby than an S3 and probably much cheaper. Yeah, not as fast though. Yeah, but that's exactly it. An S3 it. Yeah. twin clutch S-Tronic gearbox, fantastic. You know, and arguably therefore a better daily. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I think a three door. <laughs> we are talking to a man who has just bought <laughs> the most undaily daily. And we're talking about the practicality of a twin clutch gearbox here. Like, Come what? on, but I was, you know, <laughs> I'm talking about with somebody yeah. else. Yeah. Um, because a three door, like S Tronic or whatever, mm. S1. Yes. Pretty sick. Would be amazing. Pretty it sick. Would be really cool. Well, there was those renders going around, weren't there, a few months ago, that they were going to be doing an RS1. I mean, if that happens, that would be, be great fun. Yeah. That would, would be pretty, yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that would be That would be cool. really, really cool. Um, but I don't know. I, they would really have to beef it up like substantially to make the most because this feels like when, when you get on it it feels like it could cope with another 150 horsepower sure because the chassis is so good the traction's amazing it is a bit of a heavier car so yeah. it needs a bit more power and i think with the twin clutch box it would be pretty special i think so i i because it, it feels great like yeah. don't get me wrong it feels really nice it feels very familiar as the Audi badge. It is a bit Audi though, isn't it? But great, yeah. it's great, man. Like, yeah. it, honestly, it is great. I have no criticisms. Oh, you just say if you so wanna <laughs> You got a screen, like a sort of sat nav. Is sat -nav? Is yeah, that does your like infotainment slot. Infotainment. infotainment. I which... could put an infotainment system in the Abarth if I wanted to. You could. To. You yeah. could do that. Or you could go all all sort of 90s and have one of those alpine. <laughs> You know, yeah, oh my god, that would be so those. good. I want one of those so bad when I got my first car. <laughs> Come on, mum and dad, go the to the house. Pop up screen. Yeah. You've got Xenon headlights? Xenon headlights. Don't have those. I haven't no. got those. No the problem. lights on this are obnoxiously bright. What is the price of this car, though? £35,000. Okay. Which for a small car, like, it's not even a hot hatch, is it? It's, a, no. it's like a. Like a micro hatch. It's a micro hatch. And it's yeah, a micro yeah, yeah, yeah. Hatch. <laughs> yeah. And that's quite expensive. It's, I mean, you yeah. know, and, okay, so list. 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 So not necessarily what I paid for it. Yes. Uh, my car. Yes. 38,000. <laughs> what on earth? Seriously, thirty-eight thousand pounds. I will say on record now, and I haven't said it before. I definitely did not pay that much money. <laughs> like, I paid nowhere near that much money. But, but list, if you were to go and order a Bipasto today, no options, and you can put options, i.e., carbon fiber, i.e., expensive stuff. It starts at thirty-eight. I, d I didn't know that. Yeah. I, th I thought they was like 25. You thought they were like 15. <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of getting over that. Yeah. That's unbelievable. Giuseppe's having a laugh. Really taking the piss, right? Because 
because then, like, when you start to look at this now, yeah. So my car's more expensive, and whilst it's a little bit more raw and maybe performance focused, yeah. it's crap in everything else. <laughs> <laughs> But, but yeah, so at that point, you're like, my car's a total rip-off. Wow. Um, but I have to say, as a driving experience, for me personally, yeah. it's much more on my street. Yeah. Even though this is a brilliant well, and much more suitable daily. Spending, I mean, we've only spent half an hour in that car, and it's just much more of a sense of occasion. Yeah. You know? And that's the thing, every time I yeah. get in here, I'm like, wee! Yeah. And of course, like a lot of that is associated with back pain. Um, but, but, <laughs> Putting but, on a brave face. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You know, it's yeah. yellow as well. It's nice. It's nice. Yeah. Imagine it. Imagine if it wasn't yellow though. It yeah, would be really like, boring. Yeah, I, think it was, <laughs> I, I honestly like. I it seriously. would be right. It would be pretty boring. So next up, then you're hopping in the GT3. I not, think so. Not part of my video at all. So if you're interested, Sam's currently car shopping, and um, yeah, you, you might have overlooked the GT3. Yeah. I, yeah. Maybe. Just I feel. I feel. It's in your your bracket. It's just. It's, Again, towards the, I keep looking at the top end. I think okay. everyone does, right? If you why, have a, why not? Go if you big have a budget home, for everything, man. you yeah. always look at the top end. So, yeah. so the GT3, yeah, brilliant. You've always had it for a while. Mm. I just thought whilst I'm up here and considering it was yeah. part next to these two, very much so. Might as well go and have a yeah. look at it. Yeah, yeah. So after this, hop over here. <laughs> anyway, guys, as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Ciao.